Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, and welcome to another tutorial. And this one is uh, another viewer requested one by a guy named Ben. So thank you, Ben, for this. Um, and it's basically how to zoom in on faces, or I mean, it could be anything really. And there are two ways to go about this. Um, so I've just got some video footage here from SourceFed because because um, I guess that they use this effect a lot. So um so to zoom in on someone's face, there are there are two ways. Um first, there's one that there's no transition. It's just it goes straight from it being zoomed out like this. Oh yeah, and uh, I should probably mention this too. This effect is uh it's to make it look like as if a camera zoomed in on something even though it didn't. So you're you're simulating a camera zoom or a video zoom, whatever. So, so I'm just gonna find the spot where I want to zoom in, and I'm gonna cut it right there. So I'm just choosing an arbitrary place, and um, and so you have the beginning, which will probably be zoomed out, and then this part, which we're gonna want to zoom in. So in order to simulate that, we're gonna want to be under the motion tab. So um, first of all, you want to increase the scale to however large you want it. So I would say about there. And then we're also going to have to reposition it. So you can either take this, take these two parameters under position and drag it, or you can just press the motion tab and uh, this little circle will pop up and you can uh, manually do it like that. Now, if you have black bars or something on the side, then you're going to have to scale it up more or either deal with the black bars or like what I would do in this instance is just have them a little off-centered so this uh... this is sort of blurry because I uh, just grabbed it off of YouTube so the quality isn't that great so this is how this one will look so, so just zoomed out and then it goes right into him zoomed in and likewise you could also um... You could also cut it and have it unzoom. So I'm just going to look at the settings that I have here because this one is what we want to go back to. So the scale is 121. So first I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to change the scale to 121. And then I'm going to go over to this one and check the position. So 360 by 240. So 360 by 240. And then we're back to normal. So this one will look like this. So, and that that's a that of course happens really quickly. So it, it's all preference and situational for how long those things last. So uh, that's the way to have it where it jumps, like no transition. So I'm just going to delete that, and I'll show you the way to uh, use keyframing and make it a uh, smoother transition. So, so I'm going to have it where. So when you're using keyframing, um, you usually don't use the razor tool. Most of it is just done strictly by keyframing. So just like the other one, we're going to be in the motion tab. And, um, and you're going to go to the place where you want the zooming in to start to occur. And then you're going to want to press a, uh, a keyframe for the position and scale. And then I'm going to move forward a few frames. Um, th this is all um, optional as well, not optional, but like situational as well, like how fast you want it to zoom in. So the faster that you want it to zoom in, the fewer um, frames you're going to move forward in the keyframe. And um, the longer, like the more drawn out you want the zoom to be, like how slow you want this, it to zoom in, then you're going to add more space. So I'm just going to do something in between. So, and then after you moved it, I'm actually going to move this back just a tad. But like I said, this is situational and it's all up to you. Um, okay, so its original um, position and scale are right there. I moved forward, let's see how many, just as a reference for you guys. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe like 11 frames. That's a uh, that looks pretty good and then just like before we're gonna increase the scale and we're gonna reposition it um, 
to something that looks a little something like this, just like the last one. And then, um, and then we're gonna go back to the original in the same manner. So, um, we could look at what the um, what the position and scale were earlier, like back here. We could copy. We could just look at these and use the same numbers. Or an easier way to do it is you just uh, right here, just make a box around these first two keyframes that are um, in the position, and they'll turn a blue color. And you can just copy and then uh, paste. So that that goes back to the original. Um, original ones. So if you found this keyframing stuff confusing, um, did I make a tutorial on keyframing? I want to. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I made a tutorial on keyframing. So if you found it confusing, go back to that. But basically, what keyframing is is it's animating. Um, it's just animating effects. So instead of just having it be uh. I don't know, it adds life to effects, I guess, is the best way to say it. So, really quickly, I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So, that was obviously really fast. Um, oh, yeah, and here's another thing. I, I completely forgot to do this. Um, what you'll probably want to do, because you probably don't want it to zoom in and then directly zoom out. You probably want it to zoom in, hold it at that range hold at that zoom for a little bit and then zoom out so let me uh... let me change this up a little bit i'm gonna give myself a little more room here and then um... so i just spread these out a bit so this is original and then that's also original so this is the zoomed in one these two in the middle so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab those and press copy and then we're going to want to paste it like right there. So there's so since these values are the same between these two points right there as well as these two points right there, there's going to be no movement. So this is what it'll, it should look like. Sorry about that. Yeah, something like that. But this is a short clip, so um so it looks sort of funny. But you guys get the general idea. So if you have any other questions, anyone, please let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions for tutorials, that's greatly appreciated. Um, what else? If you found the video helpful, could you please leave a like and uh, subscribe for more videos? And uh, yeah, any questions, just leave a comment or a private message. And uh, I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching, guys. I am Alan from Premiere Pro Tips. Have a nice day.